A couple of little tips too. You need to be aware of what your dog is like when it's healthy. So some people are like, well, I'm not sure if he did. He must not feel very well. Well, be familiar with what the dog looks like and smells like when they are in good condition. One of the things you can look at to just be familiar with is look inside your dog's ear. I know that sounds odd, but the fact is that ear infections, when they begin to shake their heads or they're scratching at their ears, you have to know what the ear looks like when it's in good condition to know when it's not. So you can stick your nose over here and just take a sniff and a healthy ear is going to smell clean. If it starts to look red or see it's got this sort of pearly pink color, some of them are much lighter, he's kind of a darker dog, um, it'll be pearly pink, it's not going to be red, it won't be inflamed, it's not going to have gook sticking out of it or dripping out of it. So know what that looks like. Be able to check your dog's teeth. This is an older dog, he's nine, so they're a little bit yellowed, but they're clean around the roots. They, are, they don't have tartar. If you start smelling bad breath, you're going to notice that there's a pretty good odor. Also, look at gums. Some dogs have really pink gums, some are black. So you need to know what they look like when they're healthy to know if there's a problem. Chewing sticks or things in the yard, things can get lodged in the gums or between the teeth. And you'll notice the dog acting a little strange, but you don't know, you know, what it is. You need to be able to look at them. You need to be able to handle feet. Keep their nails trimmed short. That's really helpful to keep their feet in good condition. So, and you need to be able to touch them all over the place. Get the dog used to being touched all over every part because you're going to need to inspect them. If you aren't, the vet will have to much more traumatic on the dog if they're not used to it. If they're used to being touched all over, that's very helpful for the dog and for everybody who's going to be working with it. Say thanks. Bye.